The goal of this video is to understand the covariance matrix of the random effect estimator. In the previous video, we saw how this covariance matrix of the random effect is important to get the beta hat random effect because the omega here show up inside in the formula, here and here. Let's understand a little bit more how to get this covariance matrix here. Not everybody automatically see how this error term here V composed by C and U generates this matrix here. First, let's calculate the variance of U conditional to X and C. We get a sigma square U times the identity matrix. Therefore, we are assuming here homocedasticity. In similar way, we write the variance of C conditional X as sigma square C. And the, this is what you see in a PhD textbook that the correlation between VIT and the VIS is given by this formula, giving T different than S. We come out of this S just to indicate that you want to calculate the correlation between different pairs of error terms. And the, what is correlation? It is the covariance between VIT and the VIS divided by the standard deviation of VIT and the standard deviation of VIS. What you see here is the variance of VIT. That means you can infer that the, the standard deviation of VIT times the standard deviation of VIS, you get the variance of VIT. We know that this is VIT. If we square this, we get here the denominator. And this term in the middle, it vanishes because we assume that C is independent of U. This first term here is the variance of C that you see here. And this last term is the variance of U that you see here. Now, let's work with the covariance of VIT and the VIS. This is the definition of VIT, and this is the definition of VIS. Then, you have to distribute CI times CI is the variance of C. You can note that the other distributions will be zero, because C and U, they are independent. And note that UIT times UIS is zero as well. That means we are assuming that there is no autocorrelation between U. You might wonder if CI and the UIT is not data like X or Y, how the computer can calculate this matrix here. After the computer run ordinary square, the computer can get the U hat, the residual. You can interpret CI as each unit of analysis i, they have their own intercept. That means you can put the variables for each i. In fact, in the next video, let's see that random effect is a weight combination between ordinary square and fixed effect.